let's get into our next phase within um, building out your agency. So you started an agency and one of the areas that you're going to get a lot of requests from or see a lot of opportunities is within website design. There's a lot of people out there that either don't have a website. It's a cheap and easy way, you know, cheap and easy, quick and sleazy. You know, it's kind of it's kind of the phrase that we use to <clears throat> earn some revenue. Small businesses that need websites, it gives you an opportunity and an introduction or a, a, a leg in or you know, open door or whatever you want to call it to go after and earn revenue. All right, so you just started today. Maybe you don't understand web design. We're going to do a series of different web designs or I'm going to do a series of web design videos because it's it's something that is necessary. You could get a medium sized business that is uh, in need of redesign. If you don't have the opportunity or the ability to actually offer web design services, it could be a lost revenue opportunity because somebody else, a competitor could come in and offer that solution and then get the other business, the other peripherals that are out there. So there's a couple of things that I want to talk about today. And in, in this, this one, it's going to be a quick video. The only thing I'm going to do in this video is show you how to set up a WordPress website and manage your cPanel. So um, I recommend A2 hosting uh, as far as a hosting environment, on a Linux cPanel setup. You can buy a dedicated server, you're paying a monthly fee, and then you can resell those services or the web design side and host those uh, uh, websites on your cPanel, all right? And then charge a fee for it, keep their plugins updated, do you know website main maintenance, backups, et cetera, et cetera. What does that cost? Cost is relative, but generally you want to stay competitive within um, the, the market sector. So you're going to charge a small business just for hosting somewhere between $250 to $500 a year, a year. So you're not going to earn a whole bunch of money, but it's something that you can do over and over again, and you're already paying for it, and it gives you the opportunity to provide that service. All right. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to talk about how to do an add-on domain within your cPanel. We're going to install a WordPress instance and then I'm going to move on to the next video. Once we have all of that stuff in place, we're going to move on to the next video so that there's a playlist of things in more specific uh, areas. So head on over to A2 Hosting. There's a link that's going to be in the comment section. It is an affiliate link. It's something that I get paid for. Uh, minor ducats, there's, it's not a whole bunch of money, but it helps provide value to creating these videos. So if you appreciate what I'm doing and creating the videos for you, I'd appreciate uh, the return favor, if you will. All right. That's my whole sales pitch. All right. So share my screen. Let's see. Go here. I've set up, you know, I don't have it in full screen because you'd be able to see a whole bunch more data, but I'm going to go over here and I'm going to find this area within the cPanel. Some of the cPanels look a little bit different, but they all pretty much have the same, uh, the same uh, uh, abilities. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a site that's actually a marketing or an agency site that I already own the domain for that isn't being used. And I'm going to show you guys in different videos how to create those assets, use design software, go through it, something you can do on your own. Let me back up for just a moment. Design is when, when I look at agency owners, people who are starting up and to the point where they're becoming successful and they're going to hire other people to do tasks for them. Design is often missed. If I compare an agency owner that doesn't have the design knowledge behind what they're doing, they're generally going to falter or fail, not necessarily fail, but they're going to fail to grow because they don't understand the design concept behind the digital. And they're just putting themselves in a position that it's sales driven and it's sales, mo sales motivated. And the client will see that or prospective client will see a lack of ability. You may have knowledge, but if you lack the ability there, you're not going to build up trust. So when we talk about, you know, go back to the three W's, knowledge versus ability, all of these other videos, be sure to watch those and make sure you press the subscribe button because I can't, oops, there it is, right? Press the sub subscribe button so that you're notified. You don't have to watch all the videos. If you see a video that you like, like it, right? We're getting roughly, I don't know, we're getting a whole bunch of views, but we're, you know, 
not everybody likes the video. So that shows other people that shows Google that, um, or YouTube that, uh, it's a popular video based on views, but if there isn't liking and interaction and questions and everything else, they're just going to pass on, or they're going to move on to the next video in search, et cetera, et cetera. All right. So I'm going to make this full screen. I'm going to walk you through this. It should take about five minutes, maybe a little bit longer, but I'm going to show you how to create a domain based on a domain that you own. The platforms, again, are a little bit different. This one happens to be in my GoDaddy account. I have accounts with a whole bunch of different hosting providers. Because, because the domain is it was purchased through GoDaddy and I have a hosting environment or a cPanel there, I'm using GoDaddy. But I will be very clear that there's, I don't know, roughly 120 domains within GoDaddy. A2 hosting provides a better solution, a faster solution, et cetera. So I'm actually in the process of when this environment uh, is done, I'm going to move all of that over from GoDaddy to A2. And there's nothing against GoDaddy. There's little hiccups, et cetera, um, speed, you name it. All right. So let's go full screen. All right. So we are in our cPanel. This is the main cPanel. It gives you a whole bunch of options here. Um, you can do a lot of the, the, uh, just about anything you need. Um, so you would click here to get to your main panel. And then we, the very first thing we're going to do, because we already own the domain through GoDaddy and this hosting environment on the, in the C panel is also, also hosted through GoDaddy. We're going to click on what is, is here called add on domain. So the one we're looking for is a domain. I was actually going to help my brother start an agency and um it's called digital sherpa 360 okay um digital sherpa 360 subdomain uh let's give this a dot com digital sherpa 360.com that's the domain that i already own and the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to click add a domain all right and I have a zillion domains on this, so you'll see a whole bunch of stuff happen. So it's going through the process. It takes a little bit for it to uh, create all of that inf uh, information. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to install a WordPress. All right. So WordPress is a free open source software and, and or, or platform um, CMS content management uh, software. If you look at hosted providers, Squarespace or even a hosted WordPress environment versus uh, Wix or any of these other things, the reason why people use WordPress is because it makes a lot of sense. There's so much. I mean, over, I think 60% of all of the domains hosted in the entire world are hosted using WordPress. And you're going to get some pushback on that. You're going to hear people talk about, um, well, it's so much easier with this, Wix, Weebly, um, you name it, Joomla, Drupal, etc. The reason why the industry pushes towards WordPress is because there's so much support out there. There's so much ability. If it's not broke, don't fix it. And you're going to find a whole bunch of people who are already in that space that can help you when, when you run into a jam. There's a lot of forum groups. There's a lot of Facebook groups. There's a lot of everything. So we're going to go back. We've added that domain. We're going to click right here. It, where, where we're going to go back to our main page. And then the very next thing we're going to do is you can see where it'll allow you to install Joomla, Drupal, Magento, <clears throat> and WordPress. All right. We're going to click on WordPress. And then we're going to click here where it says install this application. And I'm going to get a whole bunch of pushback on this video as far as from my industry, because a lot of people don't don't like what it is. And the very next thing we're going to do, and I'm going to talk about um, a lot of different things. We're going to go find, I have a bunch of domains, so let's go find Digital Sherpa 360. And we're going to choose this where it's HTTPS, DigitalSherpa360.com. Now, the question I get asked the most is, what about the www dot? Um, no, you're going to, eventually we're going to talk about redirecting all of this stuff and setting up Google search console and everything else. You're going to choose the HTTPS, which is the secured version, digital Sherpa 360. And we're going to use this multiple times, multiple, multiple times, um, because I'm going to do instructional stuff on this website. 
I'm going to go into the directory, which auto fills with blog, and we're going to delete that. Um, update to the current version. I accept the license agreement. I would leave all of this stuff as is. Update to new minor versions. Do not automatically. Do not automatically. We're going to create an admin username. Feel free to try and break into this website if you like. We're going to go ahead and I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. I'm not going to show you what that is. I'm going to put in my email and let's use my main email here, gingerhippo.com. And we're going to call this digital Sherpa 360. Um, and the tagline. So when we talk about taglines, we want to use three to five words for a tagline, right? Arby's, it has the beef, right? If you look at advertising, you want something short and quick, something that ideally uh, is a good, good uh, name or a tagline or something that you support. So we're going we're gonna to call this marketing defined. Uh, so three to five, um, let's see, let's say um, marketing agency defined, okay? It's just a short little tagline. You do have, we're going to talk in, about upcoming SEO, um, uh, how to do SEO with taglines and how to make sense of all of that. We'll get to that point, but we're not there yet. And then the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to click install. It's going to take a moment to propagate that WordPress installation. So give it a little bit of time. And then it's going to click it, as soon as it starts going through and it starts propagating this, you're going to see it show up. I have 41 applications installed currently on this cPanel, so 41 websites. They all run fine on one uh, hosting. We're going to, going to go back through here now that it's there, and we are going to wait for it to install. So it's installing the tables, and then it's going to give a WP admin here. Now, before I end this video, I want to make sure that I do the click through on this because you're going to notice something because you chose the HTTPS. It's not a big deal, but you're going to get a warning screen. All right. So as it goes to here, oh, it went in, it went in here automatically. Um, sometimes what you'll see is you'll see an SSL issue, okay? Um, but I think I already set this up, and I'll have to check if I did already set this up with an SSL pr prior to, that's why it's not giving me the warning. So it should say, warning, this is an unsecured site, and then at the bottom, it'll say, proceed to safety, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to end this video here. Um, because it's already gone 13 minutes and I want to break all of this up into little bits and pieces, I'm going to talk about how to in, uh, install a free so, uh, SSL, where to get that, how to do manage DNS. We're going to get into themes. We're going to get into designing. We're going to do all of these things. And I'm going to break these episodes up so it's not just a week's worth of or two weeks worth of design videos that are coming out on the channel. Um, so stay tuned. Again, press the subscribe button. I'm happy to have you here. I want to bring you more episodes, and I hope that this gets you just a little further into your process and into your journey of building, building a successful agency. See you on the next episode.